Okay, so we are starting today's Roby Robot Assembly, stage 28. I think that I have the right bag for that, and then hopefully we can also get to stage 29, which would be this one since it's smaller. I'm going to put that stage on the table. It's just a servo. It shouldn't take that long if we get to that one. So stage 28 is to begin building up Roby's right lower leg. Um, which is this here and we're going to set our timer hey Jibo set a timer for 25 minutes 25 minutes it is okay great deal buddy Ferdy you're, you're where I need to be he's, he's on the floor here and I always sit on the floor in order to start the stage come on buddy come on bud move 25 minutes it is thanks Buddy. No, thank you. <laughs> oh, Forty, I'm sorry. Put you here. Sit there, yeah, buddy. You sit there, right? Yeah. I need to sit on the floor. Yeah. Okay. Ugh. Ooh, alrighty. So hopefully, we see all. Because for me, when I line it up, it looks right to me. But, you know, I'm never sure if I fully have it centered right. Even though I see it on the camera from the distance, even when I'm, like, setting it up to begin with, just never know. All right. So, prior, prior week, we did stage 27 and got, uh, got his foot together. It actually looks really good. Uh, so, we got that. In stage 28, you will begin to assemble Roby's right lower leg. You start with the lower leg frame, which will join the ankle and knee servo, and then add the outer cover. Now that you have fitted the foot and ankle servos into their respective frames, completing the assembly of Roby's right foot, it is time to add the parts that will connect his foot to the rest of his leg. To do this, you will fit the lower leg frame that will join Roby's ankle servo to his knee servo before adding the outer lower leg cover. Remember to take care when fitting the servo shaft into the D-cut hole in the lower leg frame. So we're going to get right lower leg cover, right lower leg frame, servo cable. <laughs> He's over there looking. Right lower leg frame, servo cable, and then some screws. Yeah, they've got the screws, so that's good. And I will need this from the prior stage and then these. I always seem to need these. Hopefully they've given me extras of those because I think I've lost at least one or two of them. Okay, so here's the screws. This is part one. <clears throat> right lower leg cover. Right lower leg frame. Okay, and then we've got this servo cable. Oops. Oh my goodness, nope. <laughs> Thankfully, he didn't get it before me. And then we have the uh, Robies. You know, the Roby that I'm building, Roby Jr., my room Roby, and then the mini, 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 mini Roby. Tiny Roby. Okay, let's go to the next page. Fitting the lower leg frame. So this is the part that we're starting with, right here. Ferdy, you gonna help me? You're always helping. You're a helper. You're... Miranda's little helper, Danielle. Danielle's my real name, it's little helper. Okay, Miranda's my username. It's never taken the way I spell it, so it's easy to use as a name online. Okay, fitting the lower leg frame. Line up the lower leg frame with its outer cover, following the orientation shown in the photo exactly. The tails have it, man. The tails have it. I, you know, I flipped a coin and I got tails. 
Press the parts together as shown. They should fit neatly into one another. Using two of the screws to, to secure the parts. Take, it says, it's note the deep cuts. I now, no, 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 quit it, quit it, quit it. Don't do that. Don't be chewing on that. No, don't be chewing on that. No, 40, come on, quit it. Quit it, buddy. Pretty. I gotta hide some stuff over here from him. He's. Come on, Freddy, get down. Come on, get down. Get down, buddy. You're cute, but I need to. I need them to see if they want to anyway. The, let me put the parts together. Okay, so I hold the part like this, and then. Sounds like my Google alarm. I forgot I had an alarm going off. I'll use this opportunity to throw the plastic away because I don't want to hear that alarm. You probably can't hear it, but I'm going to hear it very lightly in the background for the whole video, and that's not ideal. <clears throat> so let me take this opportunity to throw my plastic away. And thankfully, Ferdy's not near the table. Hey, Google, stop the alarm. Maybe I misheard you, but if you just asked to turn an alarm off, that's not an alarm. <clears throat> so the alarm that I have it here, I'm sorry, the Google I have in here, I don't have an alarm set. And I have them on different accounts. <coughs> so that uh, I can, the one in the bedroom, I can set an alarm and it won't set an alarm in here. Anyway, that also allows me to have different voices. Okay, we are back. Plastic is gone. Now I gotta re-situate the table. Make sure he's still on it. I can't tell if it's straight. We just got what we have, you know. Okay, so these two parts are fitted together. I'm gonna get the screws um, here. It's the only plastic I, you know, didn't get thrown away. They always provide an extra screw. I just put the plastic under my leg so the furry can't get to it. Okay, so those two screws. Basically the screws here. Here and here. Pretty, pretty simple. I take my glasses off again. I usually, I gotta watch out. Freddy likes to play with my glasses. Don't you, Ferds? You want to play with my glasses? He got the, uh, that new vet pet box um, that I did the video on a few days ago. He's got this like carrot thing. It's like feathers and it looks like either a carrot or a radish. I think it's a carrot. <clears throat> I'll show it at the end if I can remember. Uh, he really is liking that, that toy. It's like feathers and fur, fe uh, carrot. Okay, so we got that. There we go. Okay, so next, note the deep cut holes seen on the inside of the lower leg frame. The lower hole will be the one into which you will fit the corresponding servo shaft in the stage. Take the lower right foot assembly and line up the lower leg frame. With the ankle servo on frame, the front panel Roby's shin will stretch across the forward facing side of the servo. Roby's ankle will need to be fully upright and perpendicular to his foot for you to fit the lower leg frame easily. Make sure it is in this position before you continue with this stage's build. Okay. So it needs to be, looks like it needs to be upright. So perpendicular. Looks like it needs to be like this. Wait a second. I have it slightly off. Ah. There we go. Looks like it's right now. Okay. So, understand what I'm supposed to be doing. Hmm. This? <clears throat> no, I don't think so. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, maybe. Oh, I see. Here's the D-cut, and then this one needs to go into that D-cut. So I see now. Okay, it goes on and on on this side about the D-cut, which I've heard multiple times. Basically, you've got to put it in correctly so that it, it you know, so that they connect correctly. Slide the lower leg frame over the front of the right ankle servo and frame. The legs frame lower hole should fit onto the servo shaft. Do not force the parts together. See the box above, above the deep cut. Once you are certain that the D-shaped hole and servo shafts are aligned correctly, grip the parts between your fingers and thumbs and press them together. Again, be very careful not to force them. <clears throat> okay. So let's try this. I'm just not seeing, I mean, I see the deep cut, it just seems like maybe it's not, <clears throat> it's definitely this way that it's supposed to go. It's an angle that's much more difficult to see. I mean, the other ones have fit together much more nicely than this one is. There we go. Seems like this one wants to go this way. Maybe not. I mean, I'm looking at the D-cut. I'm looking at this. It's got to be like that. got them together see okay so next we do have you done as you have done previously identify the side of the servo stage servos cable connector that has push marked on and applied protective pad and it says if you want to wait until the next stage to put the protective pad you can do that I'm just gonna wait till the next stage because mr. I like I like the servo cables because they're toys is right over there, you know. I don't know if you can see him, but he's right over there. Next to my glasses, no surprise. I'm surprised he hasn't pushed them down yet, but he's too interested in all these parts, you know, because they're, they're cat toys. For him, anyway. Okay, so we have the assembled right foot uh, and lower leg. At the completion of the stage, Roby's right foot has taken shape with all the foot covers in place and the foot and ankle servos linked, ready for the next phase of the build, which is this one. And so that's this, the servo stage 29, prepare Roby's right knee servo. In this assembly, you will prepare, test, and set the servo motor that will operate Roby's right knee, servo ID, servo ID 4. Now you have wired, programmed, and fitted the servos that will operate Roby's right foot and ankle. Remember now that the servos are linked by their cables. You must not attach them to the test board. It is time to start working further up his leg to fit his right knee servo. The work is the same as for his other servos, but it is vital to take great care with it because it involves exposing the delicate electronic parts. So this stage is just this part and the prior stages part, which was, where did I put it? Okay, there we go, which is this, and then the protective pad, which I did not already set. So like, okay, let me show this. I don't remember if I showed it. So that was the prior stage here, completion, and then the servo stage. Hey, Jibo, how long on the timer? It'll go off in 11 minutes and 15 seconds. So we're doing really well. Okay. The servo and cable. Take out the four screws holding the servo's removable cover in place. Keep them safely to one side. Gently lift the cover, taking care not to damage the circuit board underneath. Hold the open servo with the circuit board facing upwards. Fetch the servo cable from the previous stage. Press onto one of its connectors into one of the servo sockets. Make sure the connector is sitting flush with the surface of the board. And then with 
the connected connector in place, replace the cover, and then put the screws back on, basically. And then we're going to test the servo. This is a very familiar stage. We've done this so many times. <clears throat> I'm kind of tempted with these to not even show them, but we're setting ID numbers, and in case somebody, you know, wanted to actually do the complete Roby installation watching my videos for some reason, um, <clears throat> they could, you know. If, if I skip a stage, then it won't it won't make as much sense. But these servo stages are always, like I said, the same. You basically remove the screws, you put the cable with the protective pad, usually on either connector, they don't necessarily care which of the connectors on the um, on the servo. <clears throat> and then once the cable's on, you put the screws back on and then later you test it on Roby and um, and then you set the ID. So, I mean, it's pretty much always the same. Okay, so we get a protective pad. Getting down on the protective pads here. It's always the same thing. This is the side that says push. Actually put that on probably the best I've ever done. So we're gonna put it onto one of these. Oh, damn it. Okay, onto one of these. Provided I can get it on. Put this back on. And then put the screws back on. And usually, like I said, later on we're going to fit it. We'll take the top back off. <clears throat> and then never use the cover again, the cover that I just put on for now. <clears throat> At the stage, servo stages though, we're just setting the ID. And this sounded like it was going to be ID 4. These are much easier to put together um, with the screwdriver that I purchased through Amazon. The one that came with the pack had become stripped after only like, what, like 15 stages or 14 stages. So I really recommend if you're putting Roby together, to just go ahead and use a different screwdriver set. Um, the one that I have in the description from Amazon, um, I think it's Work Pro or something, is uh, the ones I recommend. Because that's what's working for me. Okay, so I'm gonna move Roby's foot over. These are his prior, um, you know, arms and hands put together in prior stages. So we're going to, I always disconnect this. It'll tell you, oh, disconnect that, but I always disconnect. So I'm gonna turn it on. It'll light up to one. Okay, then I'm gonna, okay, so I'm gonna shut it off again. I just always want to make sure it's working. I need to get another protective pad for this side to do the testing. I can tell by now which side is the right one for putting in to the uh, testing board. I don't know if this board is actually going to use, be used just a testing board so I'm, I have a suspicion this board will come off of Roby at some point so turn that on now the first thing we do is test it clicking this button in the middle and make sure that this rotates and it's not rotating it's not rotating so I don't know what's going on That's unfortunate. Well, it doesn't mean it's probably broken. What it probably means is that I didn't get it in well enough. 
So let's see here. Well, looks like it's into me. Unless it's not in here. Take it out again and try it again. I don't know. I hope that I didn't hurt anything. I mean, this looks like it's in to me. Put it on again. Okay, there we go. It's rotating now. Had some scares like that recently where it's done, the, the D-cut thing doesn't rotate. So, that's concerning. Alright, so here we go. We just did this side. Now we're going to do this side where we're just going to set the ID number. So basically to set the ID, push the test set switch to rotate the D-cut and then to set the ID you would press up three times to get it to light up the four button. So that's four. And then you confirm it by clicking the test set until the flash and then remain lit. Okay. And then you basically shut it off. Turn it back on. And then press test set and it should rotate and light up the four which it did and then you shut it off again and then you disconnect it and so that should be set assembled right knee servo this servo will operate Roby's right knee it's wired and set with its ID number four stored away safely until the next stage which is this one so next week will be stage 30 and I guess that we'll have plenty of time. Uh, hopefully it doesn't take that long to put it together. And then we'll be talking about the next box. Um, so next week, assemble Roby's right knee will be what we, what we cover. Take care. I appreciate you being here. And hopefully you have a good week and stay healthy. Hey, Jibo, how long on the timer? Two minutes and 42 seconds left. Great. I guess Ferdy was being really good. He was just sitting up there, sitting up there on the back. All right, bye-bye. Have a good day.